Well, we're back to the same old, same old with winners. Wasn't really too shocked about that. Um, went back to talking about all oh, the big three, the big three. The one, one, the one, the big three didn't even finish in the top ten, so we had issues pretty much the entire day. And um, Harvick won for the seventh time this season. <sighs> it was a struggle for Chase today, but he managed to pull off a top ten finish. Another one at Michigan. You know, he had he's finished top ten at in all starts at two tracks only. Atlanta and three starts in Michigan and all six so far. Six straight top tens. And since new, starting in New Hampshire, he has four straight top tens, two top fives, one win. Um, and we're heading to Bristol where he's pretty dang good at. Um, it was his 100th start, 100th, I can't speak. And now his career stats are one win, 28 top fives. Um, 50 top 10s, so percentage-wise, he's finished in the top 10 50% of the starts. 50%. And has led a 1,026 laps. And that's literally unheard of for a third year, like third season cup driver at 22 years old. Like, that stats are just going to go keep going. By like his fifth season, he'll have like outstanding stats. I swear, like numerous wins and and it's just insane. Like he's peaking at the right time this season. It, it seems like last season he did the same thing where he was starting to run really well during the end of the uh, regular season and into the playoffs. So the playoffs, I'm pretty excited about. He'll probably have. Hopefully have the same run like he did last year, but hopefully with wins and get into the final four, which would be awesome. Some people are like, he's not gonna make the fun like past the first round. I'm like, uh-huh. That's why he didn't make the first past the first round in his rookie season or last year. So tenth, fifth overall, first two years. And those were in on points. This year he's in on a win, so 99th start. Um, anyway. And haters are still complaining. Like, oh, he didn't win today, so he must suck again. And so is Henrik Moser. I'm like, you can't expect to win every single week. That's the thing. You can't win every single week. But for the big three, that's pretty much proves me wrong. But, but, Ford next year is not going to be this dominant, so just don't expect Harvick to be in victory lane that much next year with a new body. So it'd be about between Toyota and Chevy next year, since Chevy will have that car, their Chevy Camaro figured out. Um, like with Michigan, Chase runs really well there and uh, finished second three straight times. And every time I go there, People like, oh my god, it's Larson's time to shine. And the last two times, literally, he sucked. Literally, he sucked so bad. So, I don't understand why they keep favoriting him. Just because he's won three straight races there. That's not the only track he can, <laughs> he can win at, obviously. But he's like, oh, Larson's my favorite to pick for the win. And like, the last two races, literally, he sucked choked away and all that so um with chase he's finished in the top 10 all six starts at michigan so far um and people are st like uh, saying oh he sucks he sucks already this and that he didn't win like expected him like people one, learn to watch the race. Two, he had a pit row penalty with an uncontrolled tire. Um, 
and had a vibration, so a tire issue, or the loose wheel. So he went a lap down, came back on a lead lap, and just marched, just kept marching forward. Pit stop just got, keep getting him, his car better from a 15th place car to a ninth place finish, which we needed. And it just keeps our streak going at Michigan. Anyway, um, good day for Penske. That's a step in the right direction. And oh, and let's talk about Austin Dillon. Best run he's had run since his win at the Daytona 500 in February. It's only, it's only his second top five. Hard to believe that since he's had plenty of good cars all season, just hasn't been able to capitalize on getting good finishes. Um, but he got a top five today, finished fourth. Originally, he was going to finish second, but he felt a vibration. And he felt like his car, like his, one of his tires was going down or something like that. So he just let up a little bit. Lost only a couple of spots. Finished, so finished fourth. It's fine. Proud of Austin for getting that finish because he he needed that like boost of confidence that shows that Chevy is is coming and is showing some speed. So him and Chase, I think, were the only Chevys in the top ten, but still, it's a step, huge step in the right direction for Chevy. So Ford and Toyotas, better watch out. <laughs> um, Xfinity race, wow, that was insane. Like, insane. The last five laps were like a battle between veteran and rookie. And I'm glad that Cindric lost because I still hate his guts after last season with the Cads Grawla incident in the truck series. Um, Allgaier won his third race of the season, um, which is awesome. Happy for him. It was like, I had like literally, I was having a, I was taking a nap and I was having a dream about Allgaier taking the, taking the lead and I'm like, and I woke up and I'm like, oh look, Allgaier's in the lead. <laughs> so, and the truck race, um, pretty much what I expected was like, at first I was like, oh look, Sawyer's gonna win again. But Moffat came and just like, edged him out by like, Two one thousand like twenty six thousandth of a second. It like on the last lap, like he just edged him out. It was awesome. Brett Moffat won for the fourth time this season. I think his fifth career win, and I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> now he's like a contender now. So people to win in the truck series is Sauter, Moffat, Noah. Um. Ben Rhodes and Justin Haley. So, and they got one more race. Yeah, they got one more race until their playoffs start. They they run Bristol next next week, and then their playoffs start after that. So the people who need to win to get in is Todd Gilliland, and I really want him to get in. Because he's been running really well there. Um, but Noah finished fourth, which is fine. Um, so that's overall the racing this weekend. There was no Indy this weekend. Um, so let's talk about, actually, no, let's talk about Brad, Brad Sweet. He won in like the sprint, sprint cars. Apparently that's a huge deal, so congrats to him. And Napa Racing was, like, dominant this past week. Chase won last weekend. Um, Ron Caps won his 60th win. Um, and then at Watkins Glen two weeks ago, uh, Rossi won his race. He's a Napa know-how driver, so... Napa is like the dominant team for the past couple weeks, so pretty happy. Um, 
and the car goes to Pocono next weekend, and Cups, I think all three series go to Bristol this Saturday night, and it sucks that I can't watch either Xfinity Race or um, uh, Cup Race, because I have to work both those nights, <laughs> so... And Chase is running his final Xfinity race on Friday night in the 23 car. So, like, looks like I have to record both races. Ugh. But should be a good race this weekend. Chase is pretty good at Bristol. And um, people say it's Kyle Busch's playground, but it's our turn. Our turn. <laughs> um... Chase has some good momentum going with his four straight win not wins. I'll be thrilled if that ever happened, but um, four straight top tens. And um, yeah, so I think what the playoff settings look like right now will be what it is for the round of 16 because I don't think see Stenhouse making any improvements in the next few weeks. His only good shot was Bristol, but he usually screws up every race he did so um so 300 motorsports cars will be in the playoffs and um i'm proud of bowman because he's like been battling all season and people are still giving him crap for being a terrible driver he's a tragedy and this and that he doesn't deserve his rights i'm like you people don't understand how much work that kid has put in just to be in that ride he has over 100 starts in the Cup Series, and some people don't even know that still. And this is their, his first full season with a top team, like a championship-winning team. So, And he's proved himself over and over and over that he is capable of going out there and running great races, like really good, solid runs. So... Rooting for Bowman to hold that points bubble um, cushion. He's at 62 above the cut line. And Jimmy Johnson's 92. So I feel like we have a good shot of getting all 300 cars in the top, in the top 16. So whew, I'm kind of excited for the playoffs now. If I can, uh, I will go to the Vegas race just on a whim. If I don't work that weekend, I will go. So I'm hoping, praying that I get that day off or have that day off and work that day. So I go to that. I still may get my tickets for the Phoenix races. Take my mom. It's going to be so much fun. Ugh. Bristol, here we come. <laughs>